<laughs> Excuse me. Good morning, guys. We are just outside enjoying mm. the sounds of nature. It actually feels mm. really good right now. I bet it's going to get hot later. Yeah, so we're outside just enjoying with our ourselves. dogs. I oh, know, right? Milton. Milton. Oh, good Lord. He's on, a, he's on a quest. I feel like he's hunting for truffles, like one of them truffle pigs. There's my boy. There's my boy. Good boy. Come on, Maddie. Oh, my Lord. Diddy got a bone. See? This is what you get for. I knew you was putting them chicken bones outside. You are caught. That does not do anything. All right, go to the squirrels. He's just going to go find it again. The squirrels. No. Milton, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, guys, today is a very special and exciting day because we are having, bam, pina colada zip fizz for the first time. This was sent to us so graciously by Melanie. Once again, Melanie, thank you so much for sending it. As you guys know, I have not been able to find it in stores in Costco. So mm -hmm. when she sent this to me, it, I was just so excited. And we actually waited till today so that we could try it and let you guys know what we think. So we're going to try it today. Mm, I need to open it with my babies. Yes. Bottle opener. Hashtag wax swag. Oh. So it is like white. Like maybe a tinge of yellow? I don't know. Okay. It That's interesting. The container. Yeah, it definitely matches the container. Let's get ready to shake it. In three, two, one. You want to make the toast, honey buns? Okay, I'll make the toast. Here is to Melanie for giving us the opportunity right. to toast. Mm -hmm. Here is to me and my baby cakes for experiencing this for the first time. And here is to America for joining the experience. To hey. you, America. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I can definitely taste the pina colada. I've never had a pina colada. Let's talk about that. <laughs> what? I've never had a pina colada. Oh, my God. But I know that there's supposed to be pineapple and coconut in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you can definitely taste both. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. This is very impressive. I think this shot up the list for me. There's like a there's like a bitterness on the back end that I really like. It's like... I think that's the colada. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's what the colada it is. It can't be the pina. Definitely worth <laughs> buying and adding to... The roulette. My mama don't like you, and she likes everyone.
Okay guys, you saw I have that pulled pork in the crock pot and I made some spicy coleslaw. Like, my meal prep is going to be amazing. Okay, so one thing that I've started doing recently is making my own jello at home instead of buying the pre-made packs. Just because like, it's more economical first of all, but then second of all, they don't make the pre-made packs with orange. And as some of you may have recently discovered, orange is my first favorite color and I do like orange flavored things. So I was like, look, how hard can it be to make your own jello? So I'm actually boiling some water right now to make some jello, but Another thing I wanted to try to do with the Jello this week, it has a really good flavor, but it could be more tart, more sour, if you will. So I am going to add some citric acid and hope that that makes it more like a sour Jello, because that would just set it completely off. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is test it just to see exactly how sour it is. Oh, mmm, oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna like that already. The Jello I'm making makes four cups and so i'm just gonna put a whole teaspoon of this into the jello i was wondering whether or not i was gonna start with half a teaspoon or a whole teaspoon but given how tart that is i think a whole teaspoon is gonna be it so there's my teaspoon i'm pouring the jello in my measuring cup life hack you guys make your jello in the measuring cup because you need two cups of hot water and two cups of cold water okay so there's my jello mix Okay, two cups of boiling water. Look at it turn to jello before our very eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this for two minutes and then I'm going to add in the cold water. Okay, and then per box directions, I'm going to stir in two cups of cold water. Okay, so now I have these two two cup containers that I'm just gonna pour the jello into. That's also another good reason to mix it in a measuring cup is you can pour it directly into your container. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see how that turns out. Okay guys, meal prep is done and it turned out so much better than I could have expected. I can't wait to show you. Okay, once again, this meal prep is pretty much exactly the same as the previous weeks. The only thing that has changed is the quote unquote main dish. So I'm starting off the morning with almonds and cello wisps as usual. Then moving on to my coffee. So I have coffee, heavy cream, butter, have some sweetener, and then some of that preferred keto chocolate collagen. DJ, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want, DJ? What do you want? Where's your daddy? Where's your daddy at? There he is! Uh, there he is! Oh. See, that's my daddy! Oh, look at that! You're so spoiled! You're so spoiled, DJ! Okay, and then for the main dish, I went with pulled pork today. This is just already cooked pulled pork from Costco. I put it in the crock pot with some G Hughes barbecue sauce and some onions and jalapenos and just some butter and other spices. Like I just threw the kitchen sink in there and you guys, this tastes delicious. Oh, a bunch of hot sauce if I didn't mention that. I decided I wanted to make pulled pork sandwiches so I got some more of those solo buns. I'm really excited about that. I used G Hughes barbecue sauce in the pulled pork in the crock pot, but I'm also gonna put one serving on the actual sandwich itself. And then I'm having coleslaw. You guys, this coleslaw was so easy. But here's the kicker, you guys. The recipe called for a half a cup of mayo. But what I did, because y'all know I like it spicy, I used one quarter cup of regular mayo, but then one quarter cup of that chipotle aioli that I put on my burgers and salmon. Game changer, you guys. Next time, I might just use this as the whole thing. Like, it is so spicy and so flavorful and delicious. Then I also chopped up some green onion and some jalapeno to put that in there as well. But like, that's a game changer. And then finally, I am finishing the day off with some string cheese. I am a little depressed to say that this meal prep does not include room for a chocolate treat. So there's no keto bar, there's no quest bar, there's no fat bomb, nothing like that. But my homemade jello is turning out amazing. And so I'm hoping that can just supplement the lack of chocolate here and then also having a sprite but overall 
this is gonna be about like six to eight ounces of meat so i'm gonna have enough for the burger and then just a plop on the side as well as some coleslaw what so i am so excited to share this with you on my what i eat wednesday oh also i forgot to tell you i'm repping nush today nush cakes comment down below have you had nush cakes before what are your thoughts they have some flavors that I really, really like. The blueberry, the carrot cake. Like, overall, I am a fan of Nish Cakes. Once again, got this shirt at KetoCon last year. This is the first time wearing it. So, I am making my way through, like, the 14 shirts that I got for free from KetoCon. So, expect me to be repping a different brand <laughs> until I've gone through them all. Overall, I'm really excited about this meal prep. Like, normally when I've had that pulled pork, I really just made it in the microwave and it was really plain. But for some reason, I just decided to, you know, dump some spices and herbs in the crock pot. And I am really, really excited about how it turned out. Same thing with the coleslaw. I was just like, let me try to jazz this up right quick. And then you know what? I nailed it. So I cannot wait to share that with you guys on my What I Eat Wednesday video. But that's gonna wrap it up for meal prep today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, what I eat Wednesdays, and Freestyle Fridays. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. Bye.